Okay, and this is what we have so far. And what I did with the curtains was I just duplicated all the curtains and moved them over to each individual window. And I also just kind of messed around a tiny bit on each window curtain to make it look like uh, so it's different, so it's not exact duplicate. And it you can kind of tell a little bit, and that's what we want. We want irregularity, and we want uh, a little bit of an imperfection. So that's what's gonna will sell our environment is uh, being imperfect because nothing is perfect in the world and uh, now we are going to concentrate on the ceiling and this is going to be the last video that we're going to focus on uh, on the on the walls and the ceiling after that we're going to start doing the furniture the floor rugs chairs um, but for now, this is the last video that we're going to focus on uh, that, that entails uh, anything that's uh, exterior and the uh, foundation of our room. So uh, for the ceiling, that's gonna, it's going to take a little time. So if we go to our reference, you can see um, we have, let me see a better picture here. We have uh, one, two, three extrusions that are going up into the ceiling. We have three on this side and we have three here. We also have this big one that has a chandelier hanging, and this one takes up two spots. Um, also, the way w I see it, we have a couple of extrusions going up, which I think it's about going up once, then twice, then three times. And there is a border around here on the edge. So, for this border, I'm probably going to reuse our. Uh, window border. I'm just gonna put it up there. So we're gonna get to reuse some of our st uh, some of our modeling before, so we don't have to create everything from scratch. And yeah, so let's begin. There is gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna model each individual. I mean, uh, all of this stuff can be done with texture. Um, I'm only gonna model these individual uh, plates and decorations. So a lot of stuff can be modeled with texture, but we will model the the majority of it. Alright, so let's begin. Alright, so now it's divided into uh, one, two, three spots. So what we want to do is use our insert edge insert edge tool and actually I'm going to do this from from this side. And I'm going to create one, two, three. I'm going to divide this part into three. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to leave space here and here. Also here and here. So I'm going to split this up. One here. One here. Uh, here we go, we can see this better. It's one. That's two, and that's three. And I can always move my border edges that I created and get a sense of better scale. I'm going to need to move this one out of the way. Always check back on reference. Always looking. You, know, you don't have to create everything from your mind. I mean, you do reference is the single best source we can use to make our environments uh, realistic. Okay, that looks that looks even. Now, if I wanted to be more precise, then I would create a new plane and subdivide it into so many uh, spots. So I know it's exactly even, but for for this particular tutorial, um, we're not creating an exact exact replica. We're just trying to make a, a cool render of an interior environment. So that that looks that looks good. Now I'm gonna do the same thing going across. So going back to reference, 
one. Yeah, so one, two, three. All right, let's do our best and split it this way. So we're gonna go once here. Let me see again. Seems like each one of these lines up with the window. Let me go to the top view actually, and it's gonna be a lot better for us. Yeah. Second one here. Third one here. So one, two, three, and probably have more. I don't have reference for for the rest of it. Yeah, we have a little. So we have one, two, three, and we have a tiny one four. So actually, that works out perfect. So one, two, three, and a little bit on this side. Four. So I'm gonna draw this one out here, and it's a lot more narrow. So now I'm gonna select these and go to the top view and line them up as best as I can. I'm actually gonna use this column to line them up exactly in the center. That looks pretty good. So let me see. That looks that looks very good. Maybe I need to uh, move these guys a little bit more over. And this. I'm also so the the best way to kind of you know you judge by eye. And if it looks if it looks good, it looks good. Yeah, you know, since we don't have reference and exact dimensions for it. Yeah, by eye is gonna have to be good enough. Plus, it's a good practice to start kind of visualizing and judging things by eye, especially scale, mass. I mean, when you do uh, when you do your figure drawing, you know it's pretty much you you rely on your eye and then your sense of perception and judgment to kind of get the scale of the figure right. So I mean that's what we're doing here. And right now, to me, that looks pretty good. So now what we're gonna do? is select each one of these and start scaling them in. So we have the foundation of the ceiling blacked out. I'm going to save and delete uh, history on this. Now we are going to work on extruding our ceiling and making uh, making these uh, extrusions up. Let's begin by going to our faces and selecting the ones that we are going to extrude. I'm going to leave these two uh, by themselves. I'm not going to do that the inner side just yet. So I select the ones that I want to extrude individually and uh, important thing here is we're going to extrude them up but we want to do them uh, by themselves. So make sure you have polygon select here. You go to mesh and make sure this is checked off. Because if it's checked on then it's going to do all of them at once but we want this off. Now, select extrude and begin scaling them in. And now they're all individually scaled in. So now, after this, we are pressing G again and we're going to do this three times. We're going to extrude it up, not too much. Then we're going to press G again and we're going to scale them in one more time press G again and put, scale it up actually move it up and we'll do this one more time press G again scale and G and move it up and a little bit higher than the ones before so now we created this little step progress going up and do the same thing for the inner select these two and now we want to 
keep it faces together. Extrude. Now we want to scale this once. Press G. Scale it up. Let me go to the side view to make sure that it's scaling the same way. Press G. Scale it in. Press G again. Scale it up. Press G again. Scale it in one more time. And last extrusion up. And scale it up. Object view, and now we have our ceiling all sexied out. Let me look at the reference really quick. Yes, 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 looking pretty good. And we're going to do our borders by duplicating our already created uh, window borders that we have and make some decorations for it. We also have this strip going down, so we'll probably actually use uh, the, the wall columns that we have and add that up there. So we have uh, nothing here. One, two, three. Alright, so let's do our, our column first. Create the, select the column. Duplicate it. Now we want to rotate it and then we want to rotate it this way down negative 90 move it up and now we want to s move it all the way to the side and we're going to scale it down and scale it in And move it up more, a little bit more. Yeah. Not too much, so the uh, the ceiling doesn't show. And now select vertices, and we're gonna take this and move it all the way over. Not quite to touching the wall. And we're gonna take this. And we're gonna duplicate it move it over and go to our uh, front view and make sure it's in between these two extrusions and we're gonna do it one more time deselect it now let's take a look now it is time to create a little border around on top of a ceiling so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the window border that we created before, we're going to duplicate it and move it up and we scale it and remove the, uh, our vertices to match the top of the ceiling. Then we're going to do the same thing for this edge and this edge and then we're going to group them and duplicate them for all the rest of the geometry on the ceiling. So it's going to take really quick. It's, so it's a bit time consuming but it's, it's fast that so we don't have to recreate uh, the borders. So always reuse as much as you can to save time and uh, you know eventually you really save in money and you'll have free time to do other cool environments so let's us select the border press uh, control D to duplicate it so now uh, we're gonna rotate along Z rotate it down and now we want to move it up now I don't want to rescale because uh, what rescaling at this point does it uh, unless I do it together it'll hold the dimensions but if I do it side to side see it stretches out our borders and we don't want that yeah so we don't want uh, we don't want to do that so what we do want well first let's move it up to what we need and then what I want is select the vertices and I'm going to move individual vertices 
to the place that I need them to go. Move it up. So let's take a look. All right. And I need to do something from the side. Vertex. So basically I'm moving them over so we don't see that border and also I'm going to be moving them up. So so the reason I'm moving them up is I want our border to cover. Let me show you. I want I want to cover over this uh, this edge. So I'm moving it up. And I want to move it up while I'm seeing that little bevel. So I don't want to put it too much up. All right. I think that's good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now what I want to do is I want to duplicate it again. Move it up and scale it uniformly. Scale it in. Um, yeah, scale it in for the inner edge again. And move it up. Not too much up. Uh, let's scale it up. And now we have the little border for that edge. Move it down so you can see it. Let me go to wireframe. X-ray. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And now I want to do the same thing again for the outer. So press Shift D. It sort of scales it down for me. I'm going to need to do it even more so. Turn X-ray off. Yeah, it's a bit too much. Yeah, for that one I might need to do the vertices now. Actually, it's it's working pretty good here. And now I'm going to scale it up. And then move it up. Not too much. I want that bevel. I want that light to play on the little bevel we have. And that, that's good. Now I have our little borders on top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select each one of these and now I'm going to press Control G and it's going to group them. So I'm going to group them and call them ceiling borders. Now, so now I have that group of all three selected and if, uh, if I press up on the keyboard so when I select one individual object you know I just select that particular object I don't select the group but if I select an object in a group and then press up on the keyboard it selects the whole group you can see it here group ceiling borders so what I want to do is I want to center pivot because when, when you group objects the center pivot goes to uh, the origin you wanna center the pivot on that group so at this point I am going to take this and I'm going to duplicate it it creates another group with those three objects and I'm going to drag it over and rescale it and basically readjust it so this will take a little bit more time because you know, the, all of these are not exactly uh, to scale we're kind of judged by eye so that's the downfall is now it's going to take a little bit more time to rescale them and make sure they're all in their proper places. So, but that's what you want to do. I'm not going to go through and have you see me rescale and be bored to death by each individual one. But what I'm going to be doing is, uh, by the time we come back, is I'm going to have all these placed in a single one of these extrusions with the border scaled properly. So go ahead and do that, and uh, I'll see you next video.